Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today we are in my bedroom uh, because I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look slash tour of my vanity. Um, I wasn't planning on filming this particular video. Um, I actually wanted to film some makeup tutorials, but I have some pretty bad acne going on on my face right now, uh, which to be honest, I totally brought on to myself. I was picking at it. I know, horrible. Why did I do that? I regret everything. Now I'm paying the price for it. Um, so yeah, so I figure it's probably best to just uh, leave my skin alone, not put any makeup on. But I still wanted to try and put up a video for this week. So so yeah, so I saw Ives and Beauty post a similar video um, not too long ago. It was a kind of behind the scenes filming setup video. Uh, and so that's where I got the idea to do this video from. Am I making any sense? <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully somebody out there finds this somewhat interesting. Um, I feel like I have a pretty unique uh, vanity. Uh, my husband actually made this for me. He, um, re not refurbished, what's the word? Upcycled? Yeah, he, um, he upcycled an old piano and turned it into a vanity. Um, the piano was left behind by the previous owners of our home. Um, it was very old, out of tune, uh, kind of falling apart. Um, so we quickly realized that it was probably just going to sit there and take up space. So my husband came up with the idea of turning it into a vanity for me. And uh, I'm glad he did because this is way better. I love this. It's one of my favorite uh, furniture pieces in the home. And so, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd show you uh, what it looks like. He also added some cool features that I'll show you later. Um, so, yeah, so let me just give you a closer look. Uh, the bench is not finished. I am still working on that, so don't mind that. But uh, yeah, so I have three shelves here. Um, as you can see, I mostly just keep my little figurines in there, um, but I do have my eyeshadow palettes up on top here. So um, the first palette is a Sephora palette. Um, I don't use this anymore because it is it's probably about six years old. Um, but it's the first thing I ever bought from Sephora, so I think that's probably why I still have it. <laughs> um, then I have my uh, Juvia's Place palettes. Uh, this one right here I got uh, when we were in Puerto Vallarta. It's a Beauty Creations. I'd never heard of the brand before, but uh, they were very affordable, so that's why I got one. Uh, then I have uh, some Makeup Revolution blush and eyeshadow palettes. These I got as a gift from a wonderful friend, so love these. Um, then this one right here is a Violet Voss mini palette. This is actually one of the palettes I wanted to use for a makeup tutorial, so hopefully I can do that next week. Um, yeah, kind of sucks to be 35 and still dealing with acne, but what can you do? Um, then down here I have a little Disney princess jewelry box because I am a child <laughs> um, and I keep um, loose eyeshadows in there and then on top I just have some extra mascaras and eyeliners uh, if I go out and I see these on sale I'll usually pick up multiples just because I go through them pretty quickly um, over here I have a Harley Quinn piggy bank I got for my birthday uh, my brother gave this to me. Um, I like Harley Quinn, but pretty much only if she's dressed in her jester costume. Um, when I was a kid, I loved watching the 90s uh, Batman cartoon, and she was always dressed like this. So, so yeah. Uh, and then she is on top of a um, perfume package container thingy, which is pretty cool. It looks like a tin can, and it has Betty Boop on it. Um, so yeah, I really like the packaging. That's why I just uh, keep it on display. Uh, then I have this makeup organizer, which I got from my mom. I believe she bought it from HomeSense. And this is where I keep the majority of my makeup. Um, I try not to buy more makeup than I can fit in this organizer, just so I don't go uh, overboard. And um, yeah, so far I'm doing pretty good. 
Then over here, I have one of many skulls. Uh, this one I painted and blinged out myself. Um, I saw some cool uh, or some similar skulls on Pinterest. So that's where I got the idea. Um, then I have this mirror that I use when I really need to get close up. And it's sitting on a skull mat. <laughs> um, I get these from Michaels. They've carried these the last few years in a row. Um, so yeah, I usually go in after Halloween and if they have these uh, in stock and on sale, I'll pick them up because I, I do like to decorate with them. Um, then I have another skull uh, related item. Uh, this is a coaster uh, and I just keep this here, you know, in case I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I have my coffee with me. Um, then this organizer is actually a DIY I did um, for a video. I'll make sure to link it somewhere. Um, so I have my big face brushes up top and then my um, highlighter, blush and some compact mirrors uh, on the bottom. And then over here, I have a Poison Apple uh, Disney mug I got for Christmas. And I keep my smaller brushes, like eyeshadow and um, eyebrow brushes, in there. Uh, and this cubed thing uh, is a Sephora, what is it, like, gift set. Um, where it kind of has, like, all the makeup in one. Eyeshadows, lip glosses, blushes. Um, again, I, I don't use this anymore because it is very old, um, but I like the way it looks, so I just uh, use it as a display piece. Then on top, surprise, surprise, I got more skulls. <laughs> um, and then behind the skulls, I have a print from Miss Magic Girl TV. Um, I won one of her giveaways, and in the package she sent me, she included some really awesome prints. This is one of them. Then on top, I have some more shelving. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, my husband made this so I can actually slide wine glasses in here. And then I can fit wine bottles up top. Um, I did end up taking them out, though, because I just kept accidentally knocking and hitting them. And so I realized it was probably an accident waiting to happen. So I just took them out. But yeah, that's what that's for. Uh, then up top, I have my Ursula. I have uh, my Little Mermaid Funko Pop, um, another print from Magic Girl TV, and my Little Mermaid. Um, my husband also added some really nice bright lights. I'm going to turn them on. Hopefully I don't blind anyone. There we go. Um, yeah, so these are awesome because that was my problem before was that it was hard finding a place with good lighting. Um, so yeah, so these are perfect for when I'm putting on my makeup. Uh, when I'm filming videos, I feel like these lights don't really show the true colors of like the shadows and the lipsticks that I use. But um, at least you can see, you know, what I'm doing. So, you know, I'll take it. Uh, now I'm going to turn it off and show you the LED lights he put in, which is very cool. Let me just turn this on. So, yeah. So he put the LED strips all around the back and I can actually change the colors. So that's the one that's on right now is red. I can change it to orange, yellow, green, uh, turquoise, blue, purple, and then pink. And then I can also make the lights flash. Flash. There we go. And it'll flash through all the colors. Strobe. Strobe only works with the white light. Then there is fade. And the last one is um, smooth. So yeah, these are kind of cool. Sometimes my son and I will come in here, turn on the music, and just have a little dance party, just the two of us. Um, but yeah, that is what my vanity looks like. Um, again, I, I love it. I think it's super cool and I, I really like that it's not like polish. It's still old looking and worn. Um, but yeah, that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and bye.